Hi, it's Paul here. We're just uh, shooting this demo with Stop Motion Pro version 8 using a webcam. Now we've connected the webcam and made sure it works before starting Stop Motion Pro. Well, we've also installed Stop Motion Pro and I'm going to start that using the desktop icon now. So the Welcome to Stop Motion Pro screen appears. In this case, we'll just go straight for Create a New Production Shot. Click OK. I'll give it a name. Click OK. The first thing that Stop Motion Pro does is it wants to know what sort of camera you're connecting. Once you've done this once, it'll just remember it for next time. The first time you use it, you probably will have to come down and select uh, from the capture type here what sort of camera you have. So in this case we're going to choose a video webcam and uh, if you've got a laptop you might see multiple items here under device. Then we choose the dimensions. So these are the this is how wide and high the pixel dimensions will be for the camera. We'll choose 800 by 448 in this case. Then click apply and we see a a live image appearing here. Now that looks pretty atrocious at the moment. So what I can do to change that is click on the format button. Now all webcams are a little different here but what you can do is start taking, turning off some of these automatic options and this will reduce the flicker and you also get more control over your exposure and focus uh, depending on your camera. So this with this particular camera I can control the focus here but you you may need to do that on the actual webcam itself by adjusting the a little ring around the lens. I'm reasonably happy with the exposure level there now so I'll, I'll leave that set there. Uh, I can also adjust the the brightness and contrast and if there is a white balance option it's always good to turn that off auto and find the right setting with the manual slider and that way your image won't flicker and change while you're animating. So great, this is looking wonderful. I'll just click OK here and on the capture settings window I'll click OK. Alright, looking good. Now I'll just resize this, this uh, screen so you can see everything. We're looking at the live image and that's shown here with a little live uh, button appearing. I can capture frames just by clicking capture there on the toolbar. I can then make a change to my puppet, capture another frame. I quite like just using the enter key to capture while I'm working, so I'll do that uh, from now. Okay, over here on the left hand side you can see the animation is progressing. So I can click and drag and step through my frames with the mouse, or I can use the shortcut keys to also step through the frames. Just press play and it'll play the animation back. Great, uh, we've got a whole lot of new things here with the timeline tool so we'll look at that in another demonstration but that's a really powerful way to uh, edit your film as you're working. Thanks for watching.